Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Nancy and you're here because I happen to pick up the Physicians Formula Butter Eyeshadow Palettes. The two that I picked up are the Sultry Nights and Tropical Days. And the reason why I picked up these two, not necessarily because I needed them, because right now at Rite Aid, they are buy one, get one free. So these run $17.99 a piece which is, I think, really expensive. But um, all together, you get 12 shadows um, per palette. So if you think of it that way, it's not too bad. Um, I've already played with one of the palettes at least, and I used the Sultry Nights palette, and I used these four right here, currently on my eyes. And let's go ahead and open this up for you. So this is the palette. And I've gone ahead and swatched all of them on my arm already for you to make this video go a little bit faster. So I'm going to start by going through this top one. And ooh, wait, what arm are we on? Nope, we're on this arm. Okay, we're actually going to start on this side, work our way down. I'm going to go ahead and let you know what they are. And one of them, they're so pale, um, just like my skin color, they don't show up. So we're going to start here with Vacation and um, Coconut Kiss. We have Beach Beige and Off the Coast. Then we have Sundown. Sunset Vista, Rainforest Queen, which is this kind of mossy green color, and Below the Horizon, which is like a purpley shade. Then we have Moonlit Beige, Reservation for Two, and Midnight Stroll, and then we have After Dark. So we're landing right here, and that's kind of like a nice black color. So you can kind of catch some of the um, satiny reflection on it, on my arm. And let's go ahead and here we have the Tropical Days palette, which I kind of like the color story a little bit better. So here we have the palette. And I'm going to go ahead and start on this side, just kind of like I did on the other one and work, work my way down. Um, so here we have Barefoot in Brazil, then we have White Sands, we have Coastal Chic and Tan Lines, then we have Sightseeing, Heat Wave, Sand Dunes, Coco Loco, then we have Ready for Rio, which I swatched on top of another one, so I'm going to show you that again. We have Peer Pressure, that's the other one I swatched together. We have Rolling Tides, which is kind of that like teal blue, and we have Island Hopping here on the bottom. And these are the ones that I swatched on top of each other. So this is Ready for Two on the inside, and here is Peer Pressure, and it's a nice pale kind of lilac-y purple. Um, this palette has more uh, matte and satin shadows, and a few like kind of glitter foil shadows. I would say foil shadows slightly. Um, the other palette, which is the Sultry Nights, has way more um, foiled shadows. And their thing is that they are ultra luxurious eyeshadows infused with a powerful blend of Maru Maru Butter, something else I can't pronounce butter, and Takuma Butter from the Lush Nutrient Rich Amazon. Incredibly soft and ultra creamy texture can be applied wet or dry. And I can tell you that I did apply them wet and dry and with my finger. And what I found out is that they make a lot of mess. There's a lot of fallout. I had it all under my eye. I had to like shake it off my shirt. It was messy and that was me digging into the, in particular, I was digging into this color, this orangey one, this brown one called Sunset Vista. That one made such a mess. Um, but if you watch me kind of like swatch it. It's really, really pretty. Um, so it's all in how you use it. Don't dig your brush into it. Um, like I said, they're 17 bucks a palette. I'm looking forward to working with it a little bit more. I'm not sold on the fact that $17 is the price point that it should be, but I'm not a makeup artist. 
So that's just my personal opinion. Um, the other thing that they released were the um, Physicians Formula Maru Maru Butter um, Lip Creams. They do have an SPF of 15. The shades that I picked up are Brazilian Nut and Acai Berry. And I've already pre-swatched those on my hand. So this shade right here is Brazilian Nut. And this one is Acai Berry. So it's a beautiful berry tone. Um, I can tell you the formula is kind of like a cross between like a chapstick and a lip gloss. Um, the size of this makes it actually a little hard to apply. It's kind of it was bigger than my lips, so I had to be very cautious because they do deposit a lot of color. Um, you do have to be a little cautious how you apply it. The one thing that I don't like is that you can twist it up, so you can see I'm doing that right now, and I'm at the bottom. I can't twist this anymore. I'm afraid I'm going to break it, so you have to push it down with your finger, and then you have it all over. So that's something to be cautious of. I don't think these will withstand very much heat, but you want to know what? They remind me of the L'Oreal. The formula is very similar to the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine. Um, this is the one I have in 908 called Sparkling Rose. Um, the one thing that's nicer is that these are a little bit more firm, but there, there it is in comparison. You can kind of see the kind of color payoff and the, um, the gloss to it or the shine. Um, so that's something that you can compare it to. Um, let's see, what do they smell like? They just smell like makeup. So there's nothing major to report on that front. Again, these were also buy one, get one free. So it was everything in the physician's formula line that was buy one, get one free this week. And look, I've already kind of munched it. I literally have had these for like an hour. So if you're not careful or if you let them get warm, they're going to get messy. And in that sense, the L'Oreal ones might withstand a little bit better. But yeah, that's my first impression. Um, let's see, I can walk you through kind of what I have on my eye right now. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in, okay? I've got wrinkles. Let's just get that out of the way. Accept it. I'm old, okay? But we're just gonna look at the colors. So let's get on in there. Um, if you're curious about anything else that I have on my face, uh, just uh, ask and leave a question down below and I'll get back to you on that. But what I have here is in the crease, I have this color. And in the inner corner of the eye, I have this one. Um, kind of on the lower lash line and in the outer corner, I have that kind of like mossy green color. And in the outer corner, I did do that kind of purpley shade, which is the only kind of sort of matte shade in this little quad. And I also use this on kind of, oh, what did I get? How long has that been there? You guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I have no idea how or when I got that smudge on my eye, but <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyways, um, on my lower lash line, I dusted this, and this is the Brazilian Nut Lip Color. So I am looking forward to working with the shades that aren't as that aren't as kind of glittery um, or foiled. I use them with the brush. I use them with my finger, and I use them wet. Um, and the color payoff was a little bit better when it was wet and it was a lot better when I used my finger. The shadow made more of a mess when I used a brush, especially on this quad. That's the only thing I can really report to you because this is the one that I used. So messy, yes. Do your eyes first before you do your face, 100%. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for this quick review, um, price point. If it's full price, I definitely wouldn't buy it at 17 bucks if you can get it on sale, for sure. I am looking forward to using these colors some more, and if you're interested in seeing how um, some of the other, how some of the other shadows applied, 
or if you're curious to see how the other palette um, works, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below. If you found any of this video helpful or useful to you at all, please just give me a thumbs up. Let me know um, the content and how I presented it works for you. Um, and if you'd like to see another video from me again, it would be great to see you back here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified the next time I upload a video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a good day or a good night wherever you are. I hope to see you here again soon. Take care. Bye.